Hey everyone, and welcome to New in the Queue, Shopify, Social, and AI. My name is Megan. I'm a product marketing manager here at Help Scout, and today I'm joined with my colleagues Allison and Peter. Um, why don't we start with saying for each of us where we're located and a fun fact, no matter how fun or boring you might think it is, an interesting <laughs> fact, I'll call it that. So Allison, why don't we start with you? Yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Allison Groves. I uh, live in Nashville, Tennessee, um, which kind of leads into the, to a fun fact. I actually uh, started my career in the music business, which is why I'm in Nashville in the first place and have made quite a <laughs> quite a 180 turn uh, from the music business into tech. But uh, that's kind of I think how a lot of us ended up in tech in the first place is some some really unrelated job. And then here we are uh, all these years later uh, here. Yeah. So how about you, Peter? Hey, folks. Uh, Peter O'Connor. Uh, I work as a product manager here at Help Scout. Um, I live in Boston, Massachusetts near Fenway Park. And my fun fact is I'm the proud owner of a three-year-old uh, St. Bernard. And so I wanted to share one cool thing. So around the holidays, I have her wear this barrel, um, which I got off Etsy, where, and it says her name, Stella. And it's actually, it's functional. And so we'll put brandy in this and then hand out shots to anyone who asks about it and like says, oh, do you have the brandy in there? I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> and so just, you know, a fun way that we spread holiday cheer. I don't know how to follow that one up, to be <laughs> honest. But like I said, I'm Megan. I'm the product man. I product manager product marketing manager, too many PM and M's in that. And um, I'm located um, near Niagara Falls in Canada, actually, so uh, not in the States. And a fun fact about me is true, in true Canadian fashion, in elementary school, we had to do a speech competition and I did mine on the Toronto Maple Leafs and still am a huge Toronto Maple Leafs fan and actually made it all the way to like the final stages with my Toronto Maple Leafs speech. So you're getting quite a Canadian on the call here today. But anyways, <laughs> Glad we made those introductions. Again, very glad that y'all are here today. And so, yeah, like I said, um, the agenda, a little overview of what we're going to be going through is that recently we launched some exciting updates to our Shopify integration. And today we really wanted to take the time to walk through how they work, not only in Help Scout, but also how they reflect in your Shopify store. We also want to showcase some of the features designed with our e-commerce customers in mind, like our new AI features and our social media integrations. So with that being said, I'll hand things off to Peter and Allison to walk you through the process. Yeah, so uh, welcome everyone again. One little almost housekeeping type thing I want to do before we even really hop in is to sort of um, call out the new mailbox experience, or actually I should say inbox. We've been using the word mailbox for many, many years. It was burned into my brain, and now we're kind of transitioning that to inbox as um, there is now more than email that you can do in Help Scout. So many of you uh, may still be on our old mailbox experience, but from inside your Help Scout account, actually from any screen inside your account, if you click on your profile photo, you'll see this option to turn the new inbox on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. we will actually get the new inbox experience going here in um, our own inbox. And this is gonna unlock a lot of new features for you, um, even more new features as we go down the road. Um, and we'll you know, get into those things uh, in the future, but this actually allows us to, to build some new and exciting things, including the new Shopify integration, um, and kind of just give, give Help Scout an overall polish uh, and allow you to have a more sort of holistic overall experience with how you're talking to your customers. So with all that in mind, I'm gonna hop into a conversation here and uh, pass things over to Peter so we can just start dive right in. Uh, a little sidebar, if you try the new mailbox, um, we'll take you through that. In fact, one of our teammates, Alex, put this video together. And so if you want to just dive in and see things really quickly, that's a great way to do that. But I'll toss things over to, uh, to Peter now and we'll talk through uh, the Shopify integration. Awesome, thanks, Allison. Um, so folks, um... Really excited to showcase what we've built here. Um, you know, we've offered a, a basic Shopify integration um, for some time, but this really signifies kind of a new chapter where this integration has gotten a lot more powerful. Um, we've tried to listen to feedback we've gotten from customers um, like yourselves and um, try to make this more of a one-stop shop. 
where you don't have to leave Help Scout as much to help your customers. Uh, you know, we've tried to make Shopify just one click away, um, but for many of the things that people have asked for, like order details or taking actions like processing refunds or handling cancellations, this is all now doable within this um, side panel modality right within the conversation. So um, Allison's gonna continue to drive, but I wanna just kind of tour us through some of the basics. Um, you know, the basic outline of this where we have orders um, and a list of orders. So Allison, if you don't mind just kind of clicking around so I can narrate some of this. So, you know, you can see here, we have a list of orders. You click on one, it will pop out um, in a side panel here. A lot of the order details are right here at your fingertips, right in the conversation. So, you know, when the order was placed, the shipping address, we'll talk a little bit more explicitly about fulfillment, but um, you know, that is there with the tracking number, um, the uh, item price, receipt status of that, and um, you know, a lot of the, uh, the details that you might need to be helpful to a customer when dealing with a, a problem they have with a, a particular order. And so, you know, um, Allison, if you don't mind just closing out the side panel here. So you can see here, you've got orders. And then if you click on properties, um, you've got some uh, associated kind of metadata that would marry to this particular customer. So uh, when they've, uh, how long they've been a customer, the lifetime value of that, the number of orders, and then, you know, you could exit right here out into their Shopify profile. Um, yes. And so uh, in order to unlock all of these great features, one of the things that you need to do is re-auth. So Allison has already done that for this account, uh, but you just need to go in and re-authenticate um, to make sure that you have access to all of this new functionality. Um, okay, so here and you go. I want to take a pause right there, Peter, and just let folks know, like, if that is something they need to do, and correct me if I'm wrong, that option or that need will show up at the top of their Shopify uh, sidebar. So it'll be a little purple box up at the top here that will let them know that they need to reauthorize. So if you if that's something that you do need to do, it will be very in your face and will right from here take you through that process that you need to do that. Yeah, fantastic. And then... Um... I'm just over here trying to pull up some numbers. I know that as of last Friday, we didn't have 100% reauthentication. So um, if your team, if you don't know if your team has done this, it would be great to just encourage folks to do that, to unlock all of this new functionality. Um, you know, we've worked really hard to put this together and, you know, want to make sure that you're getting the benefit of that. Um, awesome. Okay, so... We have a list of orders here. Allison, do you mind just clicking view all 11 so they can yeah. see what that looks like? So that'll click out the side panel. You can see the different statuses associated with particular orders when they were placed. Um, from each of these orders, you have the ability to copy, copy the order number. So Allison, if you don't mind just doing a hover there, and then you can see that little success toast pop order number copied. Um, and then you also have the option to go right out to the Shopify, the relevant Shopify page. Um, which will have a lot more order details uh, here. Um, but our goal was to pull all of that or as much of the relevant information that we could into this side panel for y'all um, to make it as actionable as possible from right within Help Scout. So um, now, Allison, do you mind guiding us towards one of the orders with fulfillment details there? Because I want to make sure that we call that out before we talk about Absolutely. some of the here. Awesome. So, um, one of the, the asks from uh, many of our customers was we wanted to make sure that fulfillment details and status were forward because one of the major questions that e-commerce customers have for their um, retailers is, you know, hey, what, where is my order? What's the status of my order? And now that is available right here in the side panel. So you can see the pill there with fulfillment pending and then the tracking number, which is copyable using that, you know, copy tracking number. Go ahead and click Allison if you don't mind. Um, and so this will take you right out to the, um, the carrier's website to get, you know, even more additional details about this, if you so choose. And so, you know, uh, no surprise, this is a bogus tracking number that we're still <laughs> using one of our, uh, uh, demo stores, but, um, you know, this would give you, uh, your service teams, the opportunity to, in, you know, almost a seamless way, get as many fulfillment details as they could to provide the best um, resolution or response to your customers about what's going on with their order. So that's some of kind of the data and the context that we provide with this new update. Um, and we think it's uh, 
a much more streamlined service experience. And so um, one of the, uh, or, or the other big component of this that I really wanna make sure um, we demo today is some of the actions or functionality that exist for um, you using uh, the new integration. And so the, the two big actions that we've made available right from within Help Scout are, 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 are rather refund and cancellation. And so, um, you know, let's say we're in a conversation and we want to execute on either a refund or cancellation. Allison, your your choice on which one we kind of display first, but you're able to go right into the order. Um, and then on the bottom, you can click refund um, and that will, uh, you know, send a message back to Shopify to execute on the refund and then update the order. So it looks like this. So you can see refunded the receipt, uh, the status becomes refunded. The net payment is zero. And, you know, we've grayed out the ability to refund moving forward. So refund uh, unavailable already refunded. Um, and we just try to make it abundantly clear that this has happened. So, um, you know, if a customer has a question about this and one of the agents who's working on this conversation um, needs to give context or provide details about what's going on with this order, um, they're able to do that. Um, and so now let's talk about uh, cancellation. And so you know, the same action from that bottom uh, part of the side panel is available. And, you know, refund no longer becomes available when uh, you've canceled an order. And if you hover over canceled order, canceled, uh, unavailable as well, because it's already canceled. Um, and, you know, you can see that we've tried to pull through as many indicators that this is a canceled order. So you see it in the side panel. If you go back to the list of orders, um, you can see that that's a canceled order. Um, and, you know, we believe that gives your agents much more agency and empowers them to, um, you know, take actions quickly without having to leave the Help Scout ecosystem. Um, and then I think the last action that we want to um, take you through, which is going to be a little bit of a live demo of <laughs> what this would look like um, in terms of canceling an item and then the stock flowing back into Shopify. So, you know, let's say a customer orders, in this case, it would have been, I think the 97th snowboard that you had available in your store. Um, and they go through and, and take that, uh, that cancellation action. Um, Do you want to cancel this one, Peter? Yeah. Yeah. I, okay. So we'll cancel that. And so, you want to talk through this? Yeah, and so you can go and uh, do the refund right now, do the re, uh, restock, and then you know enter a reason for cancellation um, right in there. Let's I'll go. Let's call that other for now. Good. And I'll go ahead and hit cancel. Yep. And so you can see the toast comes through with a, a order successfully canceled. Um, and now if we go over to Shopify, Allison, I want to. You know, previously, what you what you would have seen is you can see 96 in stock for this multi-managed snowboard. Um, and now if we refresh this page, um, what we should see is 97 in stock. But yep, perfect. So 97 in stock. And so this gives you as a, a retailer in the e-commerce space every advantage to, to move the inventory that you have available to you. Um, and, you know, we know that um, you know, every sale and every opportunity to engage in a positive way with a customer is important. And so I want to make sure that inventory becomes available to you. And so, Allison, I just want to pause quickly. It looks like we might have some uh, a question from Jonathan in the chat. So, um, so folks, for the Facebook and uh, Instagram integration, does the new integration allow for moderation of responding to hiding, deleting comments, as well as DMs? Gorgeous and Rich Panel does this. So I wanted to verify if Help Scout does as well. Um, Jonathan, off the top of my head, I'm not sure. Um, I have inherited this uh, from the, the former PM. And so I'm happy to connect with you directly um, to get this, this question resolved. Because you know, I want to make sure that we're providing you with accurate information about how this will impact you know, your cu customer-facing communication. So um, I'll make sure that you know, my email uh, and contact information is available. I think we should have your details from your sign up, and I'll, I'll reach out to you directly to get that information out to you. Yeah, I can actually even answer this, Jonathan, because um, oh, I was a part of the launch. Yeah, Peter just got here at Help Scout, <laughs> like you mentioned. Um, but yes, for Facebook and IG um, integration, for right now, it's just the DM. So there's no monitoring of comments on posts. 
um, and stuff like that, like I know Gorgeous does. Currently, it is just like direct messages from Instagram, so in the DMs, and then for Facebook Messenger, it's just those direct messenger, um, what's it called, messages, I guess. So yeah, no moderation or responding or deleting comments on specific po um, posts at this time, but that is something like Peter said, something we're dedicated to improving these type of integrations, especially for our e-commerce folks. So definitely note that if that's a desire, and again, we do, yeah, aware that that's something that Gorgeous does, but at this time, it's just a direct messages for both Facebook and Instagram. And Jonathan, like I said, thanks for the question. And I'll follow up with you regardless. I am responsible for development of the Shopify integration moving forward. And so I'm hungry and excited to engage with anyone who wants to about, you know, the things they want from our integration and the ways that we could be better um, or more competitive with uh, some of the other um, customer service uh, help desk solutions out there. Um, looks like we have another question coming in from Riley. Um, for Facebook Messenger and Instagram DM integration, my business page is linked to my personal page. Can I integrate the messages without messages from my personal account showing? Um, Megan, go ahead. Yes. So maybe if we want, we will be going through... Um how Facebook and Instagram messages do show up in Help Scout. That is a section of this. So I will answer this, but um, I'd love for us to get back to this part and then answer all the other um, like Instagram, Facebook questions when we get to that part of the presentation. However, Riley, yes, when you do log in or when you do go to integrate um, your accounts and we'll also be showing where you do that in Help Scout, you are able to choose which page or which pages and um, actually you're only able to do a business account. So you will be able to connect to your business account even though it is linked to your personal account. So there'll be no worries there. Awesome. Thanks, Megan. Yeah. So um, folks, th I think that outlines a lot of the um, experiences that we're excited about here. So, um, Allison, if you don't mind, let's just do kind of like a barrage of clicks around, um, you know, this integration. So, you know, you can see if you do summary view on Shopify and you click that kind of that top hyperlink up there, um, sorry, right up uh, below. Yeah, perfect. That's going to take you right to the order page within Shopify where all like the hyper detailed information is available. If you go back to Help Scout and we'll just like keep clicking all the links to make sure folks have, if you click the item, it'll take you right out to the item page where um, you know, if a, a rep needed to get some very specific detail about the item, they could click right into the Shopify um, SKU, if you will. And then if we go back to Help Scout, um, you know, if you let's just if you don't mind, let's go to like one of the canceled ones just to see what that looks like. Sure. So let's. Uh, in this case, fulfillment was unknown. And so this would take you to the order page again, where there may be more details about fulfillment. Um, and then if you just go back to Help Scout, Allison, I just want to and go back to the orders. Yeah. One of the things that um, from a refund perspective, there's a partially refunded order there. So if we could just you know show them some of the detail around this one. So um, you can see that you know, there is the option that you have to do a partial refund. Um, you know, if a customer, uh, a service situation got dire and you wanted to um, do something like a partial refund or discount to keep scenario, um, this is an option that we provide as well. So, um, you know, we're really excited about giving you and your team the flexibility that you need to best manage your, your e-com business. Um, yeah, cool. I guess we can even say uh, that's, you know, where that refund amount would happen. And correct me if I'm wrong, Peter, but you can enter as much as up to 100% worth of the product's value there uh, and then get that there. And one other thing that I want to call out is just having this conversation this morning with some of my teammates. Um, we've gotten some feedback about this restock item uh, option being uh, on by default. And understand that folks a lot of times get... Um, uh, items return that they need to refund that are actually damaged and can't be restocked. So uh, there is some consideration going into that and could potentially uh, have that option off uh, by default. And if you did want to restock it, then you could click that back on. So those are conversations that I know Peter and his team are having um, ongoing as they continue to iterate how our integration works. But if at any time you wanted to say refund 20% of that, you could easily do that 
Um, I was playing around with that this morning and refunded myself a dollar. So uh, all those fun sort of things you could do while testing things out, uh, but any amount, and you can see right there that you know exactly how much of that purchase is available for refund. Uh, and you can do any amount of that there. And then that will automatically be reflected uh, back that you have partially refunded this particular order. Okay, a couple more questions in the chat. Uh, we've got Judith Poe uh, asking, and if I mispronounce anyone's name, I apologize up front. I'll, I'll take my best effort as I can. Um, hi, how about chargebacks? And so, um, Judith, just to clarify, you're talking about a situation where um, a payment is returned to a debit or credit card after a customer disputes a transaction. Um, I don't know if in you know my self-edification about this process, I've seen that come up anywhere. Um, so I'll follow up with you directly, Judith, to talk about a little bit more about that use case and understand kind of what the the optimal kind of uh, path would be for you and your team as you deal with the chargeback. Um, and then we've got Renee, uh, cool. Um, and then we've got Renee uh, Haddon Nost um, is, the refund a dollar amount, or can you do a percentage as well? Um, right now, the refund is a static dollar amount. And so, you know, we don't give you the flexibility to flip between. Um, and so this is uh, good feedback, uh, Renee, if percentage, especially in a case like a discount to keep, you know, not having your agent have to do that quick math would be helpful. Um, like I said, you know, happy to connect directly to better understand this use case. Um, so hopefully that's helpful for you. Um, but right now it's just dollar amount. Um, cool. And then, um, Allison, I think the one other thing that I was interested in making sure people saw um, in the refund kind of flow, if you mm -hmm. go to, um, the, there's like the notification to the customer component right. to it. And so if we could just like pop over to a um, the customer notification, because, you know, one of the things we're very conscious of is, you know, there's a, a channel and a dialogue that happens between your service team. And then there's kind of a customer facing component of this. So, you know, some of the notes and comments that are left uh, are meant not to be customer visible. And we make sure in the refund communication to the customer that that those uh, items don't don't follow through. So this is an example of what a customer would see um, when they receive a refund. And as you can see, you know, um, we don't have the the granular detail that might be passed between your team um, in what we showed to the customer. So um, if I go back to order 1034, the one that was been refunded, yeah. um, that uh, if you left a note there, that refund note would be there associated with this, correct? Correct. Yep. Okay, cool. Awesome. Thanks, Allison. So yeah. Um, like I said, folks, we're really excited about this iteration of the Shopify integration. And, you know, we hope it's really helpful to your teams. Um, I'm going to pass it over to Allison for uh, a couple of comments about some of the other agenda items we have today. Um, and then I'll talk to you a little bit more before we sign off about, you know, how you can provide additional um, feedback um, and, uh, you know, what we're dreaming of next and, and how you can help be a part of that. So, Allison, with that, I'll hand it over to you to talk about some of the things. And and Jonathan, thank you so much. You know, I, I feel um, lucky to get to get up here and talk about all the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful work that the team has done. But I will definitely pass this message along to them because you know a lot of folks did long hours to make this possible, and I didn't. And so it'll be great <laughs> for them to to hear this feedback. So I, I really, really appreciate that. Yeah, so two other things that I wanted to quickly touch on here is our new social integrations and more explicitly like where you can find them. And then also uh, a few of our new AI tools, um, which are only available in the new inbox experience. So that's why I sort of kicked off uh, our conversation here today with how you can do that. Uh, because if you want to get access to these AI features, um, that's something that you'll need to be in our new inbox experience for, for the most part. But first thing I want to go over here is our uh, social integrations and mainly where you can find them and set them up. But in our demo account, I've got just a uh, Facebook message conversation here. And if you've used chat and Help Scout before, this kind of uh, might feel uh, a little familiar to you. Um, you can see, uh, you know, someone sent us a message here 
to our business page through Facebook Messenger. Um, so that that uh, conversation comes in to Help Scout. I was able to answer that conversation and that went right back to their Facebook page. Uh, there's a few little tiny caveats here. The main one is that our social partners, so right now that's Facebook and Instagram, so we'll just call it Meta overall, um, they don't, and rightfully so, because I know there would be a lot of abuse uh, if this was not the case, but they do not pass the email address of your customer through um, their API, which is how we connect uh, you know, those accounts to Help Scout. So you won't have the customer's email address when they send you a message, but you can very easily um, edit that customer profile. If you know their email address, you can add it to this record and that will then amend um, that conversation to the rest of those previous conversations that you've had with that customer. So again, you can always keep track of all of those conversations that you've had with that specific person, whether it was email, social, chat, phone, SMS, any of those other integration partners that we work with, uh, you can keep those all together in one place. So that's just a, a very rudimentary but good view of how those social messages will look like when they come into your Help Scout account. And to set those up, you can go into your inbox settings. And here in our edit inbox area, that's where all of these sort of admin type features that you need to manage your inbox are located. So, um, you know, obviously the, your, the email address that you use to chat with your customers, the settings for your inbox, inbox signature and things like that. And then you'll see uh, this down here and you can, uh, if you haven't already, you can connect both of those accounts um, and you can and manage those pages that are associated with your accounts there as well. Uh, and I won't get into that because that's kind of a, uh, connecting those accounts is kind of a hard thing to show off. But if you're looking for that and want to make those connections, this is exactly where you would do that. So you can see both of them are listed out here and you can go through that connection process there anytime you might like to. And like Megan said earlier, whatever business pages and Instagram accounts that you have connected to your personal account, that's what you'll be able to connect uh, here to Help Scout. So again, that's here in um, in your in your uh, edit inbox settings. And if you scroll down the page just a bit, that's where you'll find um, what we're calling channels. And as we integrate more, whether it's WhatsApp or any other social things, that's where you'll be able to find those here. And then finally, we have our new AI tools. We'll talk about um, two of them here today. Uh, the first one is what we call AI Summarize, which is a very, very handy tool. Let me open this conversation here that I've already run um, a summary on. And so right up here at the top on the left-hand side is a little, a brand new panel within your Help Scout inbox experience. Um, so it's where things like custom fields and whatnot will be. But you'll see this summary up here at the top of the conversation. And what's happened is, let's say you get an email, you have a back and forth with a customer. It's got eight, 10, 12 different threads. You know, the email's just going on for quite a long time. You'll have the option to summarize that. So using AI, it'll read through all of those threads, you know, very rapidly. And then we'll leave you this two, three, four, five bullet point list to kind of summarize what the conversation is. So even if you as a, uh, you know, support person still need to go back and read through all of those threads to familiarize yourself with the conversation, at the very least, you can summarize it first, kind of get a better understanding of what might be going on. And then if you need to dig in deeper, you, that will like, you won't even have to really think about it. That summary will already be with you and you can just, it'll even stick there on the side and you can go back through the conversation and read everything that's come in. And that'll also give you just an overall better understanding um, of that. Whether you just wanna quickly read the summary that the that AI has done for you, or if you wanna dig back in, that's really, really helpful just to have that summary at the top of mind. And then finally, we have a tool that we're calling AI Assist, uh, and it lives inside the conversation editor. So as you're replying to someone's email, and it can do a lot of different things. So I'm just going to type something out here, and I'm going to make a mistake on purpose. Um, so let's say I'm replying to a customer. I've written out that email. All I have to do is highlight that any chunk or all of that uh, reply back to that customer. 
And this very first option here is where our AI tools live. So I can open that up. And then you'll see all the different options for you here. So you can see why I misspelled something so we can see how that works. Um, but you can fix your spelling and grammar, make things longer, shorter, friendlier, more professional, or you can translate it into a bunch of different languages um, all at the same time. So the first thing we'll do here is let's just, you know, fix my bad spelling uh, error. And you'll see that just like that is done. And then we can replace it. And now I can highlight it again. And let's say I want to reply to the customer in Spanish. So I'll do that, scroll down here, let that run. And you can see how very quickly and easily that goes. And then I can get that back to the customer. So very quick and easy way to help you do a lot of different things when you are in that moment replying to that customer, you know, whatever type of thing you might want to do, that option will be there for you. So again, that grammar, spelling, longer, shorter, friendlier, more professional, make it friendlier is actually a lot of fun to play around with if anyone wants to do that. I've had a lot of fun doing that or even just, you know, doing that translation. So really um, sort of cool, easy things that we can do really just kind of um, scratches the surface of the future of AI and what we can do in Help Scout. But if you're using our new inbox and, and uh, want to play around with that, that's a, a really, really cool way to do that. So that is uh, our sort of other options there. Yeah, Peter. Um, I just wanted to, Judith had a question in the chat and I just wanted to put this in front of you. So are there contract uh, templates for policies specifically wholesale that are available? Um, not to my knowledge, that would be more of what we would call a saved reply. So if you had written up those things on your own, you could save them within your Help Scout account. And then you could very quickly add them into an email reply. So if I go here and I add, let's say I had written up, you know, whatever sort of um, contract language I might want to send back to a customer, I could just do that. Um, I could search for that, what I wanted to do. And then that would just insert that right there. So that's a, a tool we call saved replies. We've had it within Help Scout probably since the beginning. I've been using Help Scout for like 10 years now, and that's always been a feature. So if you aren't using saved replies, but have a lot of language or frequently asked questions or things like that, that you want to store inside your Help Scout account and then quickly add that into a customer's reply. Really great way to do that. Uh, and again, we call those saved replies. And that's one other thing that is in your mailbox settings. So where we added our Facebook and Instagram accounts, you can also set up those saved replies there as well. Awesome. And Peter, Thanks. I know you had a, a few other things you wanted to chat with folks about feedback as far uh, as Shopify and the other things that you're working on. Yeah, so folks, we're making a big push um, to get in the Shopify Plus program. So, you know, we think that, uh, of course, Help Scout is fantastic and it's the best solution to help all of your e comm customers. Um, however, you know, we want Shopify to really believe that and give us that Shopify Plus certification. And so, one of the best things that you can do to help us get there and, you know, help us continue to make this integration as great as we possibly can would be to leave a, a positive review um, from your store. Um, on the Help Scout application. Um, and so I know that there's a limit of one review per store um, to do that. Um, and, uh, you know, we encourage folks to to go in there and, you know, do is be, be honest. And, you know, if you feel great about what Help Scout is doing with Shopify, you know, please let the world know. Um, that would be really helpful to us. Um, and sorry, uh, before I move on to the next subject, there's another uh, question coming from an anonymous attendee. Uh, if you don't mind letting us know who you are, we're happy to follow up with you to, to do this, but you know we do welcome anonymous questions. So if I don't see the AI tools, why might that be? I'm using the new inbox. Was there also a setting I needed to turn on? Um, Allison, anything that you can offer to that? Yeah, those uh, AI is available on our plus plan. So if that's not something that you're already on, uh, you need to upgrade to our plus plan to get those features. So that's more than likely what's going on. They're not, uh, they're not available on our standard plan. Those are available on our plus plan. Cool. Um, folks, and so um, we're never finished. And so this is just the beginning of, uh, you know, what we do to improve and, and optimize this Shopify integration. And so um, in the spirit of uh, never being finished, we've put out a survey that for anyone who's re-authed will, will show up um, right in, in application for you, where you can, you know, 
do a fun little emoji response. So I think there's the heart eyes, like a flat face, and then the crying emoji about how you feel about the integration. And, and that would be really helpful feedback for us to hear from you all about what that's like. And then there's also an uh, open text field about what's missing. So, you know, if you have a feature or a component of this that you aren't seeing us move on, that's something that we want to hear. We have it in the uh, in our plan for the next couple of months to iterate on this and um, add even more functionality. So if you want to be part of building that, let us know in that open field um, and we'll reach out to you to engage directly. But also if you just have features that we haven't offered in this current iteration, let us know and, and we'll um, prioritize those to, to get built in the near future. Um, Megan, I think that's it from my end. I, I just want to thank- well, Peter, is there, there a thing, uh, maybe some things coming soon that you might want to tease? Um, yeah, so I mean, we're thinking about um, all sorts of uh, improvements that we can do on this. You know, one of the biggest things that um, our competitors offer right now are uh, what we might call actionable properties or, you know, ways that you can automatically um, action some of the things that are built uh, in or data that surround the customer. And so that's something that we're actively working on with our engineering team and, and could be coming soon. So we're really excited about that prospect in the near future, Allison. Cool. Yeah. Um, so folks, um, that's it from our end, or at least from my end. Thank you so much for the time and the questions. We're really excited to share what we've built with you all um, and look forward to um, you know, continued engagement with the community about how we can make this great for folks. Um, we really care about your experience working with our, our product and want to make it I uh, want to make it great for you and for your customers. So, um, Megan, with that, I'll hand it back over to you for any closing remarks. Yeah, Allison, if you want to jump back into the slide deck, I know we covered a bunch today, so I just wanted to do a little recap um, of what we talked about. So first, with the Shopify integration, there's two main improvements that we made that Allison and Peter showed y'all. So first, we have more detailed order information, so you can dig into that fulfillment and shipping data right into the sidebar. And you have the ability to refund and cancel orders and restock cancel orders directly from Help Scout. So you don't have to be switching tabs constantly. You really have everything you need for that day-to-day -day work um, that your team is doing in the queue. Next slide. Just a reminder, you do have to reauthorize Shopify. Only admins and account owners can do this. And they will see this pop up like um, Peter talked about in the sidebar. And that's a really simple process. It's like three clicks. Basically, you're just refreshing that API so we're able to get that data for you. And this is required if you want access to, um, sorry, not details, but the refunding and canceling orders, which in my personal opinion is like the big meat of this new integration. So definitely encourage you all to do that if you haven't done so already to really get the most out of our Shopify integration. Next slide. Again, social media channels, we now have made it possible to integrate integrate your Instagram and Facebook Messenger accounts with Help Scout. So again, your Instagram direct messages can be brought into your Help Scout inbox. Same with your Facebook Messenger um, direct um, messages. But again, like Peter said, we're always looking to evolve you know, our Shopify integration and server e-commerce customers. So if there are other channels, uh, social media channels, or other ways you want to manage conversations in Instagram and Facebook Messenger, please don't be afraid to um, voice those in the in-app survey that we're doing. Next slide. There we go. Thank you. Again, our AI features, we're really, really, really excited about this just to improve the productivity and supercharge support teams with AI features. So like um, Allison showed, AI Summarize is great if you have long threads of conversations that you're, go you're conversing with the customer with, and let's say another teammate needs to come into that conversation and get up to speed real quickly. Instead of having to read through all those threads back and forth um, with your teammates, AI Summarize just provides that nice summary for you in the side panel. And then AI Assist is like your best friend in the queue. It puts that extra polish on those responses. Um, again, checking for grammar errors and translates into over a dozen languages, which is really exciting. And again, like Allison said, this is only available on our plus plan. All right, any last questions before we wrap up here? I know we've answered all the ones in the chat, but I'll give like a moment or two for any last meandering questions that there are. We'll have a fun 
awkward five or 10 seconds of silence yet? <laughs> Only five or 10, not a second more. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle that. <laughs> well, folks, thanks everyone for taking the time. We really appreciate it. Um, you know, we're excited about giving you the best we possibly can to, to work with your customers. Um, yeah, so big thanks to y'all. Yes, okay. It looks like we don't have any more. Thank you, Diane, for your words of encouragement. And yeah, we look forward to reading your reviews on our Shopify app listing and also looking forward to your feedback in that in-app survey. All right, thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day.